thought that I was just gonna like mess around with makeup. And I was like, you know, why don't I film it? So I'm um, to do my eyebrows. So I use the same thing as usual. It's the Cabral by Benefit in shade number four. And then I use tinted brow mascara in espresso. Espresso. So other than that, I'm gonna be doing my entire face here. I think I'll start with eyes first and then do my face makeup. Hmm. So I'm gonna start by um priming my eyelids with this Boing Airbrush Concealer from Benefit in the shade number one. And then I'm gonna use the excess on the brush. I'm just using like a brow brush. Um, to clean up my brows. Okay, now that since um, I blended that in, I'm just going to go in with this Morphe translucent setting powder and this little elf brush, small taper brush, and just set my eyeballs. Now that I'm all set for my eyes, we can start the makeup. I haven't like watched any videos of how to do the Kim inspired look, but I don't think she really had any like eyeshadow on other than obviously like the smoky wing. So I'm just gonna like go in with um transition color and then go straight for the eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go in with the Anastasia Monrezance palette in the shade Warm Taupe. Right, I'm gonna use the fluffy side of the brush that comes with it because yeah Just to add a little bit of like Depth Next I'm just gonna take this um Becca eyeliner compact and get my brush wet and make sure it's not too dark like more of a smoky black literally like and then I'll be right back Okay, now we have the winged liner on. Um, it's not the not the best, but since we're gonna be smoking it out, like there's there's room and I need to do my face makeup so I can always clean up. Anyway, whatever. I'm gonna take I'm not sure if I should go with like a black shadow or the same eyeliner since it's like dry. I'm gonna take um the Smashbox full exposure look. Oh, can you see the hollow? It's Christine, where are you at? I'm gonna take this shade. Obviously, what other shade would I take? I'm just gonna dip in that and like go over it and like try to smoke it out. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, this is what I have so far. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look like that smoky. It looks like I just did a really thick wing. So I'm going to try to take um, the other side of the brush, it's just like the dome side, like that. And I'm just going to try to um, smoke it up a little bit more. Okay, that's looking more smoky, if you can see what I mean. Now it has kind of like a gray tone to the outside because it's smoked out. I'm going to keep trying to smoke it out and touch up and yes, I'll be right back. And then in smoky liner. I'm going to... um smoke it down this way because she obviously has a lot of lower liner as well which I'll do after my concealer but I'm gonna just start making it go like this just so it connects easier and yeah I'm just gonna do that with some uh, black shadow again and then I'm gonna take like a normal ink liner and do like the inner here I think she had like kind of like um the cat eye inner cat eye you know you know what I mean yeah I'm just connecting it there I'm gonna do the same to the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think that's looking fairly good so far. But since I was smoking it out, a lot of the um, actual like black liner has really like came off. So I'm just gonna take L'Oreal, the super slim liquid liner. Um, it's just like, you know, one of those felt tips. And I'm gonna go right back at the very um, bottom and near my lash line and then more in the inner corner and try to do the little cat eye thing. So, yes. Yeah. Okay, it was so hard going in the inner corner without like looking completely whack and it looks so weird without having my bottom lash line or any lashes on or anything, but um, that's just what I did and I'm going to do the same to the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have both, uh, both eyes done 
and I'm looking whack, my hair's looking whack, um, I'm just gonna continue that. Since I'm pretty much done with the top, I can continue it later or fix anything later. I'm gonna do my face makeup and then we'll do the lower lash line and lashes and all that. So, okay, so for my face today, I'm gonna um, prime with this Wet n Wild cover all primer. It's just literally has not looking good. Oh my god. I hate myself. Holy heck. <sighs> now to um, cover up those pores, I'm going to go in with step one smoothing primer from Makeup Forever and put that where I have crater pores. By the way, sorry if you hate that I use the spatula because I like germs, but like, I don't care. Then once I got this whole Instagram look going on, I'm just gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna be done for the day. Thank you, bye. Just kidding, I'm gonna um, take my Miyoko random brush that I bought because it was one of those things that's like, this brand is giving out free brushes. All you have to do is pay for shipping get yours now and I was like wow it's probably fake but I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm kind of gullible well but I'm not because like I knew it was fake but I did it anyway and it worked and I got this brush and it's actually really nice I like it okay now I'm done with my foundation I think it's fine whatever I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser blah 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 in fair and I'm just gonna put that all over my face. I'm gonna take a beauty blender and blend that all out and I'll be right back. Okay I think that's all blended out. I'm just trying to get like in there because it's kind of gray from the eyeliner but I also don't want to like ruin it. This is what I mean like it's annoying to do face makeup after. Oh, and I'm gonna set with translucent powder. I'm gonna use the Morphe translucent same exact one and just do it with the same exact brush as before. Just get a crap load on there and like, oh, hell yeah. <coughs> oh my God. It always gets in my mouth. Okay, I'm gonna shut my mouth, like wait. While we're not like dead yet, I'm going to take the Hoola Bronzer to bronze up. I am definitely not as tan as Kim, obviously. So I'm just going to try to bronze that up a lot. And then I'm going to contour. So let's bronze first. Okay, I'm almost done with bronzing. Mm, I think that's good. Okay, I was going with more later. And then I'm going to contour with actually this Wet n Wild contour palette. Don't know why, but I feel like using it. So... Um, I'm scared what brush to use. I'm going to use this, like, actually, this one. I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics 126. It's, like, kind of flat, fluffy. Like, it's, like, not out like that. You get me? You know? Whatever. I'm going with the dark shade. Oh. Bruh. Okay. Okay, then. Tap off the excess. And then, like, I'm so scared. Chisel that bone. This is so hard. <sighs> now that we have that contour on, I'm going to try to cut that with this beauty blender and close my mouth so it doesn't get in again. And let's see. Okay, now I'm going to chill and check my phone for like three minutes and then come back and wipe this all off and hope that my face isn't the Sahara Desert. Oh my god. Hello children, I'm back and I'm gonna wipe this off now. I'm gonna use the same brush. I, oh my god. Girl. Mm -mm. Ah, I see. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, so now even though my face like looks baked as hell, looks all all good, um, it feels dry as, as like dry. So um, I'm just gonna quickly bronze my nose and then I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray because oh, it needs moisture. So I'm just gonna go in with this like little brush right here. It's not even that small. It's a Morphe G37 and I'm gonna kind of bronze on my nose with the same this palette. I'm scared. Oh my god. I'm gonna set with Mac Fix Plus. Use this Tarte Stunner Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Highlighter every time. And the usual 65 fan brush. My broken box highlighter. But it's still blinding. So let's see. What? Do you see how it's like all bunching up right here and not like that looks so weird I'm gonna take a different brush I'm gonna use the one I use for like my nose highlight and like because it's so small and like touch up that spot that looks so orange mm, it looks fine from the front but like why do I look orange girl let's just do the nose oh, Shoot, that's a lot. Look, <gasps> girl, what? What did I do? Oh my god, oh my god. Let's take this like random brush and like hope to like live. Wow, I'm gonna blind someone, like actually blind someone. This one's insane. It's a mirror. It's so weird. The highlighter's being super like patchy, like, oh. It looks really not the best. Who knew that highlighter could like ruin a look? Oh my god. <sighs> it doesn't like want to blend in. And some spots are like insanely blinding and some spots are like gone. Do you see what I mean? Like I I you know we'll just go with the flow and I'm gonna keep okay, that kind of helped like a little bit. I'm just gonna keep doing my eyes and Yes, so let's start with some waterline. Is that what it's called? Waterline liner. Um, I'm gonna take this eyeliner from the Too Faced Love palette. Oh my god, there we go. It's okay, anyway, it's the um, Too Faced Love Perfect Black Waterproof Liner. It's super like watch. gonna go in my waterline and then I'll come back and we can smudge it okay now that I have that all up in my waterline I'm gonna smudge it out with the little smudgy side stop okay so there we go with the eyes this is gonna be like a pain in the bum to take off like uh, now I look like I have no eyelashes whatsoever, so we gotta fix that. Let's take some falsies, my favorite, even though I'm not that good at them. They're Christina, I don't know what brand this is, I just like randomly got them. They're Christina number 217, 100% human hair, nice, not vegan. Does that count as vegan? Like, if you're vegan, would you not use human hair? Like, I feel like you would because obviously it's like consensual to use human hair, right? Hmm. Questions. You really want like nice fluttery lashes that you see on like Instagram, you know what I'm talking about? And like I can never find them. These are like, they're fine, but I really want the pretty ones. If you know any, comment down below. I mean the ones that are like really like, they blink and it's so, you know, yeah. Okay, we got those bad boys on, and now I'm messing up the eyeliner. Wow! I'm just gonna blend those lashes in with some mascara. I don't want it to be too intense, so I'm just gonna take this, like, Volume Million Lashes by L'Oreal. I actually really like it. And just blend those lashes in. I, this one's flying off. I swear. Oh my god. To stay down to finish the video. I don't know why, but I thought this was gonna be like quick and cute and fun, and it was not quick nor nor that cute. 
It was kind of fun though. Were her lips glossy? Mm, I don't remember. They don't. Oh, they look kind of glossy. You know, this is like not matte. You know, it's like kind of matte. I'm gonna go with this. The eyes there are enough. I'm not gonna go with any like strong colors. It's just bound velvet lip lip gloss. Lip glide. I love. It's so cute. I want the full size. Okay, now that I see it, I kind of want to add a little bit of lip gloss, so I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy Lip Gloss, whatever, in Spice Girl. Cute. And just put a little bit over the top. I should have gone with Creme de Nude from MAC. Why didn't I? Why? Okay, that's pretty yes. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I want to try doing more creative things obviously this wasn't creative i literally like copied kim k's makeup but i mean like more intense i don't know sometimes i watch youtubers and i'm like wow i'm making a video of like winged liner wow like i'm so like ah, youtube i just want to start doing more colorful looks and stuff and so i decided to film this one today just because it's a little more obviously not every day like obviously so um i hope you like this thank you so much if you're watching um, and I'll see you guys next time. And now you're ready to go out to nowhere like me. Oh, I'm dying.